Unis Anis is officially gone. Um, if you don't know what that is, you missed something absolutely incredible. So Markiplier and Ethan, or Crank Gameplays, had a joint channel where they uploaded videos every single day. They started the channel exactly one year ago, and they deleted it today, and it was like this massive event. I think it got like a hundred million views a month, or even more, I, I don't even know, I wasn't really keeping track, but it had four million subscribers and would get like one million views every single video without fail. The videos pretty much just consisted of Markiplier and Ethan trying various different things from acupuncture to physical fitness to isolation chambers depriving you of all feeling and much more, you know, just a, lo a bunch of random stuff that I didn't even get to see. Now the topic of today's video is not the channel itself, but the meaning behind deleting it. So on the surface, it's, it's completely like absolutely dumb, right? It defies all logic and reasoning like it's incredibly stupid to delete a channel that massive right with with that amount of views generating millions of dollars in revenue i cannot even fathom thinking of deleting something like that in fact none of us can but the deletion of the channel actually had a message right Th this wasn't for like a, a publicity stunt or something they were trying to convey a very meaningful message known as memento mori now i'm not gonna lie i haven't watched every single video on their channel for 365 days straight in fact, I only watched a few videos here and there, and I don't know if they told everyone why they're doing this in the midst of those 365 videos, but what I did pop into the final stream, which had about 1 million live viewers, by the way. Did, did I see that wrong? That, that was absolutely nuts, dude. But yeah, there was a little hashtag trending on Twitter called Memento Mori, uh, a reminder of death, right? And the fact that it's inevitable. So Markiplier tweeted out, it's time to say goodbye. He linked the stream and they they legit deleted the channel on stream at the exact time it reached a year. Hashtag Memento Mori. The day has come for fans of Unis Honest as creators Mark and Ethan delete the YouTube channel and its videos exactly one year after its inception. So let's talk a bit more about this message, right? On the surface, Memento Mori sounds like a very weird thing to say because why would you remember death, right? Isn't it sad and tragic and depressing? Why, why do we even need to think about it? Wouldn't it just make you sad all the time? Time. Actually, it really depends on your perspective. So the, the saying, right, it comes from ancient philosophy. So you guys probably heard PewDiePie talking about stoicism if you watch one of his philosophy videos, which I highly recommend, by the way, they're, they're absolutely great. So stoicism is pretty much being okay with what's out of your control and accepting it calmly. Now dying and death, at least most of the time, is something that is completely out of our control and is something that we need to learn to accept. So some ancient Greek philosophers believed that this was the best way to deal with things. This is the this is the practice that allows you to reach true happiness. Reminding yourself of death and keeping that thought in the back of your mind keeps you humble and allows you to live life to the fullest without wasting a second. Now, I don't know what Mark and Ethan's intention behind this was. On the surface, it just seems like you're losing a giant asset and disappointing a lot of fans who love the channel, right? But if you step back and take a deeper look, I feel like people fall in love with YouTube channels, right? It truly becomes one of your sources of happiness. I can say this 100% because I've fallen in love with many channels in my time, right? I absolutely love them. I still love a bunch today. They've helped me get through really tough times and I can't thank them enough, right? And by deleting this massive channel that a million people relied on every single day, they kind of took a part of their lives away because if a million people are tuning into this one channel for 10 minutes every day or 20 minutes, however long the videos were, that was a big part of their life. And by completely eliminating it, they literally, I mean, not literally, uh, figuratively, reminded them of death. What you enjoy the most could be taken away from you at any moment, and that's a realization that we all have to live with. So you guys probably know Naruto, Naruto, whatever, however you say it, um, the, the, there's a song in Naruto, right, which says, All that is near us we must know, could disappear any day, be careful. The main key to finding happiness lies nowhere else but in my soul. That's the English translation of the song, and I gotta say, it's pretty right. Like, life is fleeting, and so much is out of our control, and we truly do let this stuff get to us, because... 
it is incredibly hard, like, let's be real, to truly live 100% by this lifestyle of just calmly accepting things that are out of our control is absolutely impossible. But what the Stoics teach us is that we can try, right? In PewDiePie's video, he mentioned, like, um, a, a guy told another guy that his son died, and the father responded that, I knew my son was immortal. That despite, like, losing his son, which is equivalent to losing your entire world, right? He understood that he was gonna die someday, right? And he could not control that at all. So he calmly accepted it and moved on. This is an absolutely extreme case and maybe a bit absurd, but it does provide clarity of this concept. Let us prepare our minds as if we'd come to the very end of life. Let us postpone nothing. Let us balance life's books each day. The one who puts their finishing touches on their life each day is never short of time. I think it's kind of a better way of saying live in the moment, you know, don't, don't wait for tomorrow and all of that. At a Roman triumph, the majority of the public would have their eyes glued to the victorious general at the front, one of the most coveted spots during Roman times. Only a few would notice the aide in the back, right behind the commander, whispering into his ear, Remember, thou art mortal. What a reminder to hear at the peak of glory and victory. It is reminders like this one that we all desperately need in our own lives. A thought or an idea that we'd rather ignore, do everything to avoid, and pretend is not true. Most often, our ego runs away from anything that reminds us of the reality that sits at odds with the comfortable narrative we have built for ourselves. Or, we are simply petrified to look at life's facts as they are. And there is one simple fact that most of us are utterly scared to meditate, reflect on, and face head on. We are going to die. Everyone around us is going to die. I know it sounds a tad bit depressing, but I, I don't think we are looking at it the right way. Remembering death is not to meant to be a sad thing. It's a reminder to live life. The simple fact that everybody around us, including ourselves, will be gone someday is not supposed to scare you. Initially, it will, as it does to everybody, but as you accept the inevitable and the fact that that's unchangeable, it will give you power to face anything that comes your way. Memento Mori reminders have come in many forms. Some, like the aide behind the general, were there to humble. Others were invented to inspire zest for life. During times of festivities, a skeleton would be brought out with people cheering, drink and be merry, for when you're dead, you will look like this. The antidote to fear is action. If you're constantly worried about death, as I was, maybe there's a reason for it. Maybe Maybe you're not quite living to your edge, you're not pushing yourself, and you have settled in the cozy confines of a comfort zone or a habitual pattern. This is another thing I wanted to talk about, that habits are great and they do help accomplish a lot of things and give your life structure, but they are also one gigantic curse because because of habits, you just kind of stop looking around. But that's a topic for another video. Let me know if you want to see that. Anyways, uh, I think uh, in conclusion, this was a historic moment in all of YouTube. A YouTuber, I mean YouTubers, actually deleted their channel in a year uh, from its inception. They created massive waves in that time that people may never replicate. And honestly, that was that was awesome. Thank you for the few videos I saw. They were very entertaining. Uh, I know the channel meant a lot to a lot of other people, but it's time to move on. Take this as a lifelong lesson to cherish what you have and remember death. Thank you all so much for watching. I, I, I can't believe I was talking about philosophy, but here we are. You can't believe you're listening to it. Anyways, um, smash like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.